Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking the British royal family. Today we are talking because, wait, 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 wait. First of all, still do not know where Kate Middleton is. I still personally have not physically seen her walk and talking in any type of live interview of any sort anywhere with uh, Prince William for that matter. And they tried to pull the wool over your eyes with that article that came out days ago saying that uh, uh, somebody who is supposedly receiving cancer treatment uh, took off in a helicopter with Prince William, you guys, <laughs> uh, with no receipts, just a picture of a helicopter. Uh, alleging people saw them walk, uh, but there's no there's no proof, you guys, because there's no Kate, because Kate is gone, girl. Like I said in my previous video, but nonetheless, uh, you know, Prince William, he is still upset because there are tons of people who do not believe this cancer story who do not believe you know a lot of the things that have come out these past couple of months starting with the photoshop shenanigans and all these things so so he has to place blame right and so it flopped already you know trying to frame his brother uh, prince harry with diddy photos and diddy allegations when you were at the same event as him i uh, but you were just cropped out of the story uh, because you're buddies with all these tabloids right uh, but so now what's happening is there are people who are scouring Twitter. Uh, they are looking for anybody who is associated with hashtag Sussex Squad, you guys. That is who is being blamed uh, for quote unquote the conspiracy theorists. And so before I get into this article, I want to say this. Had these people did their research, it actually didn't start with Sussex Squad. Uh, in fact, they wanted no parts of this Kate Middleton story, you guys. They wanted no parts uh, of where's Kate Middleton. They specifically said, this is not our fight. Uh, this is not our battle. Uh, you know, we'll leave it up to the powers that be. This was big international news. All the celebrities, all the talk shows were talking about it. This didn't reach Sussex Squad till much, much later. Till things had already escalated beyond control, you guys. And it got, and really the Sussex Squad didn't really, to me, make a presence uh, until people started victim acting uh, because they were so upset that they couldn't deal with two weeks of negative press. That's when I saw Sussex Squad emerge, right? So so that would uh, basically invalidate the past couple of months, uh, um, you know, of, of them allegedly being behind this and being, quote unquote, the conspiracy theorists and the internet trolls. No, 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 no. They came in when you guys started complaining about the media and receiving hate, and that's when you guys were about to launch your last ditched effort uh, for this cancer video, right? That, that, you know, has been proven to be uh, tampered with, has been proven to show literally different uh, sizes of the bench that Kate Middleton is saying, see, sitting on. Like, we find new things every day that is wrong and inaccurate about this video. But nonetheless, let's get into this, right? Uh, so like I said, the UK is blaming Sussex Squad and calling them trolls, right? And so this started a couple days ago with the Daily Fail, and they have identified who they deem is the quote-unquote leader of the Sussex Squad. Because I guess um, you're the leader if you have X amount of followers on Twitter. I guess that's what that means, right? Uh, but it's all bs right so they've been doing daily articles on chris right uh who's spoken out against this royal family and, and their lies and their conjecture and, and all these things right and so now the sun is you know now taking things on and so they came out um and says the following they're calling sussex squad sussex squalid inside the sinister world of the sex <laughs> the sussex squad online trolls making kate middleton's life a misery with bullying and lies the hashtag sussex squad makes outlandish claims about kate in defense of their heroine megan markle and uh today the sun can reveal some of the sinister tactics the trolls used against those who speak out against them I uh, so their campaign of hate began when they peddled sick conspiracy theories around Kate's abdominal surgery, claiming she was the victim of domestic violence, was in the middle of a divorce from Prince William, or hiding away after plastic surgery. 
even when the princess last week bravely told the world she is undergoing chemotherapy but mysteriously is on a helicopter you're not supposed to be receiving treatment during chemo but nonetheless the cyber warlies claimed her video was ai generated well it was uh behind some of the worst trolling is a group using the hashtag sussex squad who made such outlandish claims about kate in defense of their heroine the duchess of sussex there is no suggestion the group of trolls are endorsed by the sussexes so so again this is a waste of an article their chief cheerleader is U.S. tech entrepreneur Christopher Boozy, who appeared on the Sussex Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan to call out online hate when it was announced in January that the princess was underwing surgery. He posted a video of a gymnast doing backflips, captioned Kate Middleton this weekend. Uh, the self-proclaimed <laughs> Sussex Squad claims the Sun's exclusive video of Kate visiting a farm shop in Windsor features a body double or look-alike. They hound your kids' schools, and the trolls cruelly claim Prince Prince William threw his wife under a bus. Well, he did. He's still nowhere to be found. After the princess admitted uh, tweaking her annual Mother's Day picture, we spoke to three people who claimed they had been trolled, um, you know, and sent frightening messages for speaking out about the squad. Uh, the women claimed they have been docs, had private details leaked on Twitter, while their families and friends have been hounded on social media. I don't believe this. One told us that she was subjected to a smear campaign, which alleged she was complicit in a family member's death. She also was sent an email with her home address and picture of her house from Google Maps. One victim told us, uh, they dig deep to find out everything about you. They dox your name on Twitter and hound any family members, even young kids, linked to you via social media. Then they start hounding your place of employment, kids' schools, spreading terrible rumors about you. In one case, they called a friend's place of work and started screeching death threats to staff. They contacted her teenage daughters and started threatening them. Uh, they do everything they can to get you deplatformed, uh, removed from social media by making complaints. Uh, and they have some reference tweets or whatever. They jump on any post that criticizes Harry and Meghan or shows massive support for the prince and princesses of Wales. No, 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 no. Another woman claims those posting under hashtag Sussex Squad hashtag have created smear campaigns against former members who disagree with them. She said they have block squads to make sure everyone blocks you on Twitter. You are not allowed to mention any mishaps or false steps the couple may have made or you are pushed out. A third said most of the main royal accounts have been targeted over the years. Around 200 accounts were bullied off Twitter with the constant relentless harassment from the squad. On a now deleted post on the Sussex Squad podcast page, one Megan supporter warned, if you come on our platforms, you lose your right to privacy. We will find you, call your jobs, contact your families, etc. Try it and see what will happen. You have no free speech on any of our platforms. While Harry and Megan also have been the focus of vile and racist social media campaigns. Oh, we're finally admitting it now. Those worried about the power wielded by the Sussex Squad claim members are a coordinated group. The so-so uh, called Squad is championed by New York software engineer Boozy, 48 years old, who is responsible for a tech program that unearthed thou hundreds of thousands of bots harassing Meghan and Harry. Boozy has pre previously called Prince William a balding Muppet <laughs> and claimed that the future king and Kate look like Harry's aunt and uncle. He also claimed the son's exclusive video of Kate at her favorite farm shop in Windsor, the first images after her surgery is fake well well it doesn't look like the same person that was in the ai video boozy has uh, appeared on sussex squad podcast created by two american women um known as tina and michelle a uh, conspiratorial thinking is immune to evidence on the sussex squad instagram page members peddle dangerous conspiracy theories about kate's cancer operation including allegations she does not have the disease a blog on its main website insults prince william's hairline in a bizarre uh barb referencing the late princess diana branding him baldy locks it states william is bald because his mother reached down from heaven and snatched her fine spencer jeans back william's hairline is also snatched in the process i uh, rightfully so because if william wants to act like a windsor he shouldn't get the privilege of carrying diana's pretty spencer jean another blog post accused the prince and princess of wales leaking stories about their children adding it does indicate how low they are prepared to go to court for public sympathy in a statement to the press on Twitter, Boozy wrote, please stop trying to make Kate the victim of conspiracy theories while ignoring the rampant and vile conspiracy theories about Megan. I can show you thousands of posts from the past 30 days or are you implying Megan deserves it while Kate doesn't? He refused an offer to put his side forward on a video call with the son. 
Social data scientist expert Anna George at the University of Oxford said conspiracy theorists often twist the truth to suit their narrative. She explained one of the factors in conspiratorial thinking is that it is immune to evidence and there is this cognitive dissonance on how people resolve the tension or discomfort that we have, um, that we feel we have contradictory um, information. And there is a timeline of Kate's uh, disappearance since January, uh, well, technically since last December, but, but they're, um, you know, announcing it as January 16th um, through March 22nd. Uh, so we've had all these theories about Princess Catherine, and now we have information about what's really going on. The most committed will discount the evidence and say it's still not true that the video of Kate needs to be AI generated or deep fake. Uh, psychotherapist Tasha Bailey argues that many conspiracies are a way of dealing with the uncertainty of not knowing the truth. She said, motivated by our intrigue and need to know, we lean into playing detective by creating fictional, sometimes outlandish narratives to fill in the blanks. Many of the thoughts on social media allude to people believing that Kate has run away to live her best life. Well, well she has, allegedly. Um, unless she's physically not here on Earth, um, then, then clearly she didn't run anywhere. Uh, this is most likely a projection from people and their own wants and desires to hide and run away and escape from their dream life um so so i i have a lot of thoughts on this because it's bogus and it's um completely and utterly ridiculous uh but but nonetheless you guys like i said at the beginning of the video this didn't start with sussex squad and, and the irony that they are just going to attack sussex squad for this and they are ignoring all of the mediums the psychics the conspiracy theorist experts the ai detectives that are active on tiktok that are active everywhere that were interviewed on cnn and other major platforms uh, discussing the discrepancies even the bbc at one point in time was even questioning the authenticity of some of this kate stuff that was coming out but now all of a sudden you don't like the narrative you don't like what's being said and you already threaten uh the american media so now you are just now going to make the sussex squad the scapegoat for all of the conspiracy theories against kate when they didn't even jump into the ring until much later much after this blew up right but here's the thing you decided to give everybody all this power right that's the thing you could have ignored anything people were saying or speculating about kate middleton right uh but you guys wanted to prove people wrong right and you you decided to prove people wrong with photoshopped images <laughs> you decided to pr prove people wrong with photos that had kate's face from 10 years ago i uh, you know basically disposed on another face that you said you took the picture of prince william you said you took the mother's day photo not us we didn't say you took the mother's day photo the media didn't say that sussex squad didn't say that you said that but once we pointed out all of the discrepancies in that photoshopped image then you completely abandoned it and you did throw your wife under the bus you made her come out with a statement well we don't even know if she technically even wrote the statement but basically saying oh I, I i like to play with photoshop sometimes no 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 that's hogwash that is absolute and utter hogwash right and so nonetheless uh, you would think of something as severe as cancer which i keep pointing out in all of my videos because i've had a couple of relatives who have had um close relatives who've had cancer who've suffered through cancer who had to go through surgery chemo and radiation and have you know a completely different life it has completely impacted them in different ways on how they live their day-to-day -day life and they are constantly uh you know susceptible to any type of disease and getting sick a lot quicker and a lot worse due to previously having cancer so i take this very seriously when people are just saying you know hey i have cancer i'm about to undergo treatment or i am undergoing chemotherapy treatment and all these things but there are things that look suspect there are things that are not adding up so again uh that happens and it just it, there has been nothing that has been shown any sense of truth but you would think the most serious thing that you are exposing and that you are revealing to the world in a two and a half minute or two minutes and 15 seconds excuse me video that your husband would be right by your side that your husband would be there holding your hand or his arm around your soldier on um, your shoulders or comforting you or, or any of the things to to show he actually cares about you right you would think in making an announcement like that that this would be a united front for the family right 
except for you continue to throw uh various versions of a kate middleton out into the bushes uh to to make all of these statements and proclamations and all these things while you just sit back and, and just do whatever and, and now you are setting up as well so that you don't have to do royal duties either so you're setting this up oh we're going to be on extended vacation uh, uh for easter yeah okay you don't want to work anyways that's why i don't know why you want to even be king right i uh, make it make sense but at least king charles is you know making it a point to let the people know that he exists and that he is real and that he is legit he is at least coming out you know greeting people and, and all of the things uh kate middleton you know it is nowhere to be found i don't care what they say but trying to blame sussex squad of all people when the purpose of sussex squad in the first place was because you are the same media that did all of the trolling and did all the conspiracy theories against Meghan markle you sent all this hate because the palace paid you guys off allegedly uh to hide all of the negativity that was happening with this royal family to hide prince william's affairs and how he treats his wife and family to hide all the stuff going on with prince andrew to hide every single gory detail and skeleton that this family has you decided to bottle all of that up and ignore it and put it in a ziploc uh, for people to never open it again and you just decided to go on this onslaught of hate for eight years against Meghan markle and trying to attack everything about her existence and even trying to pay off her estranged family members uh for clicks and views and so to have the audacity to do this and then some of you are hiding behind burner accounts some of you alleged reporters are actively hiding behind burner accounts on twitter trying to get the tea on the most popular sussex squad members so that you can put out daily articles about them uh the rest of this time right until we get the next kate middleton announcement but it's not going to work it's not going to work because we're going to continue to expose the truth and we're going to expose that the cover-up is always worse than the crime and this is not a battle that you want to go down this is like attack the beehive on, on a national scale or or the navy or the swifties and, and just making them the focal point of, of the issues and the scapegoat of the issues and not looking at the bigger picture of what all the facts are and what all the missteps the royal family decided to make and they had to throw a last minute hail mary to get people off their backs but you would think if people supposedly are off your backs now why are you now trying to place blame why are you still putting articles out about this trying to victimize kate middleton nobody bullied her nobody is threatening these people uh there is a difference between sussex squad and actual trolls I, I think people need to have a distinction of what is the difference between a fan base and what is the difference between a troll because trolls are people who are going in on the attack and sending threats and doxing people but that is not sussex squad sussex squad basically exists to expose the truth about the royal family and how they have you know attacked and attacked and even now you still try to insert uh, prince harry and Meghan markle into this photoshopping mess and try to put out a photo and try to allege that it was photoshop and the photographer himself had to come out and say listen there is zero receipts of this ever being digitally altered so so you guys continue uh you write this article about sussex squad but you continue to also write lies about Meghan markle and prince harry but you want to call out the actual fan base that is calling you out for your lies make it make sense so there is that let me know your thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment i post new content on my channel and with that being said i'll talk to you guys again very soon